Hello, welcome back to another episode of Simply Sabrina Stitches. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers to the channel. Hopefully we will continue to grow. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a embroidery design on my Janome MB4S. And before we get into this video, I just want to give a few details about the Janome. It works on a file, a Jeff file, J-E-F. Um, unlike Brother that works on a PESN. And we'll get into more details about these embroidery files when I upload a how to design or digitize an embroidery file. But uh, for this video, I actually bought my design off of Etsy. They have really good embroidery files if you're either too lazy to design it yourself or you just find something that you like. You can just easily purchase it off of there. Most of their, um, most, most of the times when you buy the design off of Etsy, it will come with all the files so you just pick the one that you need and upload it to um, any digitizing software that you may have. The two embroidery design softwares that I use are So What Pro and Embrilliance um, Stitch Artist. Now I mainly use So What Pro more than Embrilliance um, but they pretty much do the same thing. I like to use Embrilliance to actually digitize. I have, they, Embrilliance has a few different um, softwares that you can get. I have the Stitch Artist where it's, it, allow, it allows you the opportunity to create your own designs using a JPEG file. And like I said, I'll get into that more once we uh, design and embroidery file. Also another thing to mention with the Janome MB4 you need to purchase a blank USB drive so that you can actually format the JEV files onto that USB. Um, not sure what would happen if you try to use a USB that you already had and try to it probably won't work so just use a blank USB and that make that be the first thing that you do. Um, insert it before you power up your machine. Once you power up your machine, then it will actually format the USB. You can take it out, then continue to transfer it back onto your computer so you can upload your design. Okay, so now we're just going to hop right into the rest of the video. So I already have my USB loaded into the LCD slot and I'm just going to power on the machine. Now when you power up the machine, this is the first thing you're going to see. It's going to give you a dialog box um, to tell you to keep your hands clear. Cartridge will move now. And all you have to do is say OK. So the cartridge is going to move. This is the cartridge. It's going to move and shift over and it's going to ask you if you want to resume your last pattern. You just click the X button to um, get out of that screen. So this is just a display of a few designs that are already loaded onto the machine already. And this is what it would look like if you wanted to pick something like this. It's just a spoon and a fork. But we're actually going to be using our own so we're going to exit out of here. And we're going to go to the file cabinet and we're going to click on USB. A way to tell that your USB drive has been formatted, um, it will create a folder for you, um, EMBF, so I'm guessing that's short for embroidery. But you click on it. And these are just a few of the designs that I have on my USB. 
and today we're going to be doing and today we're going to be doing a cute little reindeer design that you can't really see it too well on here and I just made up a name and I put Sarah on there just to personalize it. Most of the designs that you purchase that don't require any applique adding fabric into your design are going to be satin stitches. So once you have the design that you want in mind all you're going to do is just go over how it's actually going to be um, threaded on the machine. You can you can actually view that on the embroidery soft. For this project, it's going to take about an hour to complete. I'm not going to be using 10 colors, probably less than that. In order to see where each thread goes, you have to click on the next page. And these two options will help you to organize your threading. So we're going to press the second button. So you see for the first line, it's going to do the ears and the dearly. So you can put a brown here. And this red button means you want to stop after um, it has stitched out this section. So I like to um, add stops in there. Then the next one, we're going to work on the face. So we're going to put that on a second spool. So we're going to leave it at two. But we're also going to stop it there. Next one, we go down. So that's going to do most of the design. So loved. Um, that's going to be on another thread, so we're going to keep it at three. We're also going to stop it. Next one, black. Black will be on four, so we're going to stop that as well. Oh, I'm sorry, it was already on stop. I'm also going to show you guys how to add in, add in a thread when you I'm going to show you how to add in a thread when you use up all of your four needles. So we're going to put this white one on one and we're going to stop it. Uh, this can go on two. Stop it. Yeah, this can go on three. Okay, so the rest of these are the same color pretty much. So we don't have to do any more stops. It can just run continuous. And when we're satisfied with our settings, we just hit the back button. Okay. And we're going to, we just hit the back button until we get back to the main screen. So now we're going to start the process of actually threading the machine. As long as you're using an embroidery, it doesn't really matter what length you use. Uh, just as long as you ensure that it's sole purpose is for embroidery. We're going to put it through our guide bar. Slip it under the hook. Then you're going to guide it through the back. Go in between the tension disc. And then go around and slip it down. Once you got it the string through the front, you're going to slip it in this first little hole right here. Then 
Then you're going to insert it through this hole right here. Then you're going to pull the string up to the first lever and slide it right through. Then drag it back down into the next slot. Okay, once you have it right here, you drag it down and proceed to insert it into number one. Okay, once you have it down, you're going to put it in this little guide bar back here. They actually provide you with a uh, needle threader, but I purchased extra on Amazon. So this is a needle threader that it came with. You just line it up with the, the thread, then you just insert it into the needle, and that is how you thread this machine. You loop it back in. You secure the thread by putting it on this bar guide so that it's secure.